How we doing YouTube? Katie Hill Farmer coming back with another farm vlog. Uh, before we get into today's video, please, if you like what you watch, you want to learn about some cattle, teach me about cattle, or just farm stuff, guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the comment button. Also, go check out the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Katie Hill Farmer. Uh, be glad to have you guys. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined the channel. It's been really helpful. But in today's video, uh, notice the flies are getting back on the cattle and uh, they need some minerals. And we'll go ahead and feed them because it's a lot easier to dump the fly stuff on them while they're eating. But uh, we'll take the side by side out. I got everything loaded in it already. Cows are down here uh, to, well, they were drinking there a little bit ago. But, uh, We'll get him fed and I'll give you a little bit of, there's the uh, bag of grain. That's, uh, I think it's 15%. We got the Ultra Boss pour on. Uh, the That's the bag of minerals. And they say medicated it's just because they have a little bit higher, well, they're, they're specially blended for beef cattle is what they are. If you guys want to pause the video right there's a rundown but uh and then you got the sprayer what i'll do with it is just give it a good shake because what it's got water diesel fuel and some uh other fly stuff in it i kind of just sprayed on their legs you know so the flies don't because guys cattle are the same as humans they don't like flies you know, we don't like flies, they don't like flies. So, but usually I try to do this in the morning. I had to do some things this morning. So, we may move their feed trough up to the corner there in the shade where they can eat and we'll go ahead and do all this stuff. But, we'll uh, see you there in a minute. Okay guys, we're up here with the buggy. Uh, lo and behold, they ran up here. So the other ones have yet to find out how to get through the gate, I guess. But ain't no bucket to get in on. Here. Okay, since they got feed, we'll get some of the Ultra Boss ready. Put it up there a little bit. I don't know which one this one's. Being dumb. Hey, there's a new bull, guys. That's Charlie. He's still a little. Come here, Charlie. Kind of got to watch him there a little bit because he'll. He's still getting. There we go. It's all of them. I like to. Yeah, it's all of them. So now while they're eating, guys, we'll just grab the sprayer. Hopefully, the other ones learn. I'm hoping it kind of takes them a minute.
Yeah, they don't like the sprayer, guys. <laughs> Look at them, they found it. You kind of got to watch doing this a bunch of times because it'll make them spooky. Like I said, all I'm trying to do is get some flies off of them. Now you got to keep shaking this thing up. But... Charlie's backside. That Rita, yeah, there's Rita. one I'm thinking about selling but sorry I'm not talking here much I'm just paying attention because I mean sometimes we'll run you over Sometimes it takes a little bit of green guys to get done what you want to do. But like I said, it's uncomfortable for the flies to be on them. There's Rita right by her, so I'll spray her good from over here so she won't see me. There's Tabitha. She'll probably stay decently. Okay, now let's get some pour on. Finish the cows going up here. Like I said, very. Tabitha, that'll make three. Like I said, guys, I, I usually don't even worry about my cattle. You guys have seen plenty of videos where you don't have to, but sometimes you gotta take precautions. All I'm doing right now is kind of just looking them over. They all look very healthy no concerns that I see kind of look at their eyes make sure but if you're raising cattle I suggest you look at your cattle at least once a day if not every other day you just never know but uh I like the I think I'm going to advertise the 1720 and the 1613 But yeah, I mean, that's all there is to it. We'll go throw some minerals out. I'll show you my mineral feeder, but like I said, uh, a little bit of grain. I need to get Charlie, which like I said, this is Charlie of 1917. That's him. We just gotta get him used to people. That means he's gun shy. Where you going, Charlie, huh?
I gotta be loud with them guys. Just let them know that you're here, you're the boss, and believe me, they'll let you know if you're not. <laughs> but yeah, they about got it ate up. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll go over and give them some minerals. As you guys can tell, this is the field we wintered in. That's the field we never that we came through. I know you guys didn't see it. I'll go ahead and keep the camera on. But this this ground, no lime, no fertilizer this year. It's very weedy and uh, needs a lot of work. It really does. I, I just have the my trouble I have with it is there's previous videos you guys can see there of what the winter does to a field and i've drug this thing and i've worked it a good bit seeded some and i mean it's just still poor so but uh i think if we can get it now i want to notice something else there too guys while i'm here you see the cow manure that's what the minerals do flies don't get on it so that's why you buy good minerals not cheap minerals good minerals and you won't have fly problems usually so let's go down here put some i'll show you the difference in between fields and uh we'll show you what's going on There you have it. And that is the difference between uh, sectional grazing or whatever you want to call it because it makes a big difference. It really, really does. Uh, they got this all twisted up. Usually I don't even take it off, but since we're recording, this is what they call mineral feeder. Uh, you guys can tell they just lift up the lid. I go ahead and loosen it up while I'm in here. Guys, give them as many as minerals as they want, believe me, it's not going to hurt them at all. Uh, there we go. Usually a string works. Usually about once a month I gotta fill that up. And you know I'm not a but a big one there is your magnesium. This is a summer mineral, so with the magnesium content in it, what that does is uh I don't know if some of you've ever heard of it, but it's called grass grass tetanus. So with the magnesium, it helps prevent that where you don't have a uh, well, son of a gun. I never had that happen before. <laughs> this may not be fun. Make sure there ain't no damn snake under here. <clears throat> yeah. Tell me how you're supposed to 
get that back up in here without causing havoc and emptying out all your all your stuff. rain today so we'll see if they'll come eat some minerals out of this since they're fresh and then we'll put that back on looks like I gotta get another pin to secure the top of that but uh no big deal next what I'll do is when I go down here I'll start to water Okay guys, that's how we go and get minerals, feed the cows, and fly, or give them some fly spray, fly medication, so, or whatever you want to call it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate you guys' support. We'll talk to you later.